greetings to everyone i welcome you back to my youtube channel i also welcome you to this youtube video uh, today we'll be dealing with measurement specifically conversion so let's look at this question don't forget this is grade 11 this is this is grade 11 grade 12 uh, content so this question says that maria uses the receipt below to bake scones and then the ingredient makes one dozen so you must not forget that when we talk about a dozen it's the same as 12 so it means it means that this receipt or the ingredients it will make 12 scones so looking at the ingredients we are having a 75 gram butter two large eggs 75 gram sugar four teaspoon baking powder 230 milliliter of milk 500 gram of flour one cup of raisins then the baking functions it will have to be baked for 15 minutes at 200 degrees celsius use the information above to answer the following question the first question is 1.3.1 it says convert the mass of the flour to kilogram so we go back to the ingredient and uh, locate the flour so at the ingredient we find that our flour is 500 gram they want us to convert the 500 gram to kilogram and we know that for us to convert gram to kilogram we just divide everything by 1000 so it's like saying 500 divided by 1000 500 divided by 1000 the answer is 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 kg i prefer the decimal one 0 0.5 kg next question 1.3.2 uh, determine the large determine the number of large eggs needed to make 80 scones so if you check here in the ingredient it says that 12 uh, scones need two eggs Another 12 will need two eggs again. So we can tell that each dozen require two eggs. And 12 plus 12 give us 24. And 30 minus 24, we're going to remain with 6. And 6 is a half of 12. So if 12 need 2, half of 12, which is 6, it will need, it will need 1 egg. And then the total eggs needed is going to be 2 plus 2 plus 1. 2 plus 2 plus 1, which is equal to 5 eggs. 30 scones will need 5 eggs. This is how you do that calculations. 1.3.3. It says that each scone has an average diameter of 7 cm. We have a diameter. It's equal to 7 cm. Write down the average radius. They want us to calculate a radius. Radius, we know that is diameter, which is 7 centimeter, divided by 2. So take your calculator, say 7 divided by 2. The answer is 3,5 centimeters. 3,5 centimeters. Then we move to the next question, which is 1.3.4. It says, calculate 
how many full dozen scones can be made with 500 gram of butter so going back to the ingredient we find that one dozen need 75 gram of butter and now they've given us uh, 500 gram so we're gonna just we're just gonna say number of dozens is going to be 500 gram divided by 75 gram so we just want to find out how many dozen is 500 gram of butter is going to make knowing that each bar each dozen requires 75 gram so you just have to say 500 divided by 75 we find that it will make six comma 67 dozen so it does not make sense we don't have six comma 67 dozen so for this one because we don't want to make uh, the shortage of the ingredient while making these cones so we are going to round down it's going to be six dozen it's going to be six dozen we round down because like we are making the scones we must make sure that the quality and the taste of it, it does not change so for that reason we are not going to make seven we're gonna make six so that the quality and the test of uh, the scones remain the same as per the ingredient. The next question, which is 1.3.5, it says that the scones were placed in the oven to bake at 1410. Write down in words the time the scones were placed in the oven so this one is very easy we know that is 14 10 so you just write this in wet we know that is 10 minute 10 minutes what past two 10 minutes past two in the afternoon in the afternoon done so please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video don't forget to share this video with your friend questions make sure that you leave your question in the comment section I will get back to you thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next video